So the state of Texas is kidnapping and trafficking children from other states. Yes, I know this sounds like a conspiracy theory. Now, how do I know this? So my children were kidnapped January 27th, 2020 by the state of Texas. I have never, ever seen them again. Um, it's not just a county. It's not just a few judges. It's not just some attorneys. It's the entire state. So let me cover how it's a whole state. So first of all, um, Lindsay Newell, Nicholas Arleva, Mary Beth Adcock, and Judge Patricia Baca Bennett conspired together to remove my children from the state of Virginia through third degree aggravated perjury. Okay. They ignored a non-revocable mediated settlement. They intentionally kidnapped and trafficked my children. They intentionally committed fraud against the state of Virginia. They intentionally defrauded the IRS. They are using my children to garnish federal grants. Now, obviously, my two children do not matter that much. They're not going to make that much money off of two children, which tells me that they probably do this on a regular basis. Another reason I believe this is done on a regular basis, just by the sheer number of people I've contacted. To begin with, we'll start with the Texas State Directory. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if you buy one, it's $125, and it covers everyone from the tippy-tippy top, the governor's office, all the way to the very bottom. And I have contacted every representative, every single one, all of their staff members, every judge. And now some of the email addresses don't work, and that's fine. However, plenty of them do work, and not a single person has responded. Not a single person will help me. I have filed every single complaint. I have started two investigations with the State Commission, both of which I believe have now been dropped. I have been in contact with the governor's office. I've had people respond to me from the governor's office. I've contacted the attorney general's office. I've also had people contact me back from the attorney general's office. A John Passmore sat at the last hearing where I proved in a court of law, third degree perjury, child trafficking, child kidnapping, and no one has done anything. I have been on the phone with Michael Burgess's, Congressman Michael Burgess, four, well, three, three times. Three times have I talked to this office and everyone says that they can't do anything. It is really incredible to me that a judge can make a little private phone call to another state and kidnap two children, but when you prove that felonies were committed, no one can do anything. So yeah, these states, the state of Texas, from the top to the bottom, and I'm gonna send out this video to every single person in the Texas directory once again. So every person in the state of Texas that is a public official is involved in child trafficking or they remain silent and turn a blind eye. But either way, the state is responsible for what is happening to me and what's happening to my children. I have not even had any contact with them. Nicholas Arleva has abused me for over a decade <laughs> and the court system has now given him all the ammo he needs to completely erase me from my children's lives. Now, let me name some of the people who are directly involved, who are, um, I have hardcore evidence of committing treason, because it is treason, it's an act of war to go against the Constitution. These people are committing treason against me, against the state of Virginia, and against the American public. So, Lindsay Newell, who is the initial attorney, committed aggravated perjury, who has now removed herself from the case, the judge has not awarded it, and she also sent me a cease and desist order. So this woman can commit multiple felonies, aggravated perjury, kidnap and traffic children, but how dare I talk about her and tell the truth and use my constitutional rights. I will no longer contact her, I will no longer harass her, however, she committed multiple felonies and is the main reason I have never seen my children again. Then we have Nicholas Arleva, who is my ex, who is just hiding behind a bunch of women's skirts and is a complete and utter coward. He's too scared to co-parent. That is genuinely what it is. He refuses to co-parent because I know who he is. And that's just his mother, Mary Beth Adcock. She actually physically removed the children from the state of Virginia, which again is a felony. She trafficked the children. Then we, oh, she's also the person who has all the friends in the courts that have uh, pulled the strings. Then we have David Evans, who I feel is one of the worst. He's the administrative 48th judge. So it's a 48th court administrative judge and he is the head honcho he is the one that has been covering up for all the other judges so the issue is that judge Patricia Baca Bennett 
commit third degree aggravated perjury and assisted in kidnapping my children, but David Evans, R.H. Wallace, Judith Wells are all working in collaboration to hold my children. And it really sucks and I'm not going to cry. I don't understand how these individuals operate. But um, David Evans went so far as to gaslight me, tell me he was going to review the paperwork, told me he was going to review the perjury, and then wouldn't even recuse Judith Wells. So that's what's happening. Judith Wells um, has committed treason. David Wallace, or not David, R.H. Wallace has committed treason, and David Evans has committed treason. Additionally, the district clerks, Cheryl Lopez and Tracy Kemp, Tracy Kemp is the district clerk for David Evans, is fully aware and is assisting him in this crime. Again, Cheryl Lopez is also fully aware and assisting in this crime. So, I don't know if I'm ever going to see my children again. But I am never going to stop speaking out so this doesn't happen to anyone else. Texas lies, okay? Texas is not the gun-toting constitutional state that they like to represent themselves as. They don't love God. All these public officials use the name of God. They are committing blasphemy. They are abusing the fact that a lot of people there um, are... Christians or conservatives, which I don't believe they are because if they really were, they wouldn't allow this to continue. Um, but they use the name of God to get elected. Okay. How absolutely disgusting is that? If you don't care about anything else, if you are a conservative or a Christian, you should be so angry. They are violating our constitutional rights intentionally to harm our children. They are violating, uh, they're violating God by using his name to get elected in order to make that money off trafficking children. And the office of the attorney general has even bragged about this. So I don't know how many people keep up with the news that's coming out, but number one, Paxson has already been exposed for fraud. I think he has like seven cases against him, um, maybe less, I'm not entirely sure, I can't keep track of that. But a bunch of members of his entire, of his own office, signed a document stating that Paxson was committing fraud. Paxson announces that 60% of federal funding goes through the Attorney General's office. 60% of Texas's funding. So you know how Texas always seems to have money? Yeah, it's because they make it from trafficking children. Okay? Do you understand yet? Do you understand what it means to get 60% of your federal funding through the Attorney General's office? This has to stop. We have to stop this. We have to stop letting our children be taken and used and abused and given to pedophiles and abusers just so some politicians can put some extra money in their pocket. So yeah, please share this video. I had over 40,000 people following my TikTok and I am now banned for life from TikTok. I am banned from Twitter and on Facebook. I am constantly getting 30-day bans because I tell the truth and I tell people that Texas is trafficking children, okay? And this video is going to go out again to every single person in the Texas directory. This video is going to go out to multiple journalists because the media is also trying to cover this up. And we'll see what happens. You know, unless there's a move of God, our whole nation's in trouble. And I understand that issues like this are happening everywhere, but we need to take out the state that talks about God. We need to take out the state that talks about the Constitution. We need to talk about the state that twists everything. They lie about everything, okay? We need to save our children, okay? We need to bring them home. <sighs> Thank you for listening, and um, I am going to pin in this video of my Facebook profile. Um, I post a lot of the evidence there. If anybody needs additional evidence or if anyone can help me or connect me with the right people to ever see Josh and Sammy again, I would, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.